In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your HP OfficeJet Pro 9135E all-in-one inkjet printer. You can do the copy, print, scan and fax with this printer. So let's do the unboxing and a setup. That's the manual. Here we have the HP ink cartridges. Power cable is here. Remove the protective tape. Plug in the power cable so that goes at the back of the printer. Wait for the printer to switch on. On the display panel, select your language. Confirm it. Select country of residence. On the next screen, it will ask you to go to the setup website. We are not going to do that. We are just going to install the setup in cartridges right now. So open the front chamber. Wait for the ink chamber to move. This printer comes with a set of four ink cartridges. So let's start with the black. You can also lift the top section, so it will make more easy to access this area. Make sure you match the color and the logo. So logo faces to the forward side and now we can just place it here. Push it in and you will hear a lock sound. Now install all the four ink cartridges one by one. So it makes a little noise about the lock when we press against the spring. Now close this section and close the front side. So in cartridges are being settled. Next step is to load the paper tray. Paper tray is at the bottom. So that's the paper tray 2 and one is on the top that is paper tray 1. So let's load paper in the paper tray 2. Remove this packing, adjust it on this side. So you just have to press like this. And then we can load the A4 size or data size paper. Adjust it and then reinsert it. Paper is installed successfully. Press OK. And here we can see the ink cartridges on the main screen. So it displays new HP ink cartridges. Press OK. Next step is to do the alignment. So click on the align. So print is going to print the alignment page. Paper output tray is here. Automatic print head alignment is done, so we don't have to scan this page. Simply go to the display panel and click OK to continue. On this screen, it will ask you to return to the setup website to continue the setup process. But we can do it from the screen. So click on the question mark. Click on the exit. Click on the exit again. And it will take you to the date and time selection. So we have to select continue scroll down and then click on the next select auto updates or you can also select notify and click on the save thanks for choosing HP press ok that is our main screen of the printer from here we can start using this printer for copy print and scan for printing and scanning we can use this printer with the USB drive if you want to use it with the MacBook laptop, you can do USB connection setup or you can also do the Wi-Fi setup.
so let's do the wireless setup click on the menu go to the settings click on the network select Wi-Fi click on the Wi-Fi setup wizard start it will give you the list of wireless networks select your Wi-Fi click next and enter the password using the touch display panel once you're ready to enter the password click on the keypad and then click on the submit press ok to confirm the password print is connected with your wireless network press ok click on the home button next step is to add this printer in a device for wireless printing and scanning for example we can use it with your smartphone I'm going to use my iPhone in the iPhone you have to download the HP smart app and you can also use it for the any you can also follow this for any other smartphone it's the same app you have to use it may show up on the top we have found a new printer or you can just ignore it go to the main screen and select setup or add printer select already connected to network you will see HP Office Jet Pro 9130 E series printer select it automatically it will show up your printer and all the details are here you can start using it for printing and scanning you can also finish the setup process click here this will help you to register your printer with the HP you can also order the free ink delivery so it depends if you want to use those features or if you don't want you can just cancel them so select all printing services click allow if you want you can continue with the HP plus or you can just do not activate so right now I'm not activating that so declining it and continue if you want you can also try the instant ink or you can select do not enable ink delivery you can skip the offer or you can ask to remind it later continue the setup select auto updates and click apply you can print the welcome page so print is working perfectly if you want you can send link to other devices or you can skip sending the link setup is complete click all done now our setup is completely done and we are ready to use the printer you can see the estimated level of ink in the app you can start using it for printing and scanning for example to do a printing you can click on the print document or you can select any document you have and then click on the print preview if you want to make any changes you can do here this printer can do two sided printings you can enable it and then you can give a print command this printer also has a ADF tray on the top that means we can do the multiple scannings and we can do the multiple copies using this so let's do the scanning after this printing let's place these two pages so it should be facing up like this going here once you get a message on the screen that means you have loaded it correctly now go to your smartphone go to the main screen and click on the printer scan click on the scan so you can see the scan is quite fast So both pages are scanned let's check the scan result scanning is done so both pages are transferred so this way we can do the scanning let's do the copy using the to feeder tray so again I'm just going to place the page here click on the copy so that's the copy button we just hit it and it will start the copy process
so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing scanning and copy you can also install this printer in your macbook or laptop you just have to download the proper drivers from the hp website and then it will start working overall it's a good printer for home or office use it's a fast printer thanks for watching